we go into the final set. It's the gold medal match of the men's individual recurve competition at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. There is a compelling consistency to Zhao Li Shui that makes him hard to put away, especially when you get closer and closer to the finish line. <laughs> and that is only going to ask further questions of the 39-year-old from California. First 10 of the gold medal match. Scoreboard pressure on Mapa. There is the second 10 of the match. The first for Kevin Mather. It was called as a 10. It is going to be uh, given an asterisk, but likely one suspects to be upgraded. Oh, huge here for Zhao. This is it for him. Oh. And it is magnificent from Zhao Li Shui. What a fifth set we have here. But Matha can do it. He's got a nine. And that now takes us to 27, 28. But there's going to be a reviewed arrow. And if this is upgraded, then Kevin Matha is going to be the Paralympic champion. And it's looking on one hand reasonably compelling and on the other hand too close to call i'll let you argue amongst yourselves at home as to how you think that is he seems pretty confident kevin matha yeah looks likely it's going to be a tight set and that means kevin matha will be the gold medal winner still waiting for confirmation but that arrow there you can see to the left has grabbed the line surely it's been confirmed Kevin Mather has won the gold medal. The set is tied, but the match is not. It is Kevin Mather of the United States of America, who is the men's individual recurve champion at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. He said he could not believe that he was getting the opportunity to compete for his country at the Paralympics. He said, I will be forever indebted to those in Tokyo who made these games happen. Well, Kevin Mather, consider your debt repaid. You are the Paralympic champion. What does this medal mean to you? Uh, it made me start crying. Uh, everything right now. Uh, the, the sacrifice, the training, the, um, the support of people back home. Uh, it's worth it. Like, here I am with a gold medal around my neck. And um, I guess I'm not quite speechless, but I'm real close.